guys, welcome back to Cypress Steel Forge. It's a lovely rainy morning, and what better time to get back to the forge? Uh, it'd been broke for a bit, but thanks to my son in law and his ability to fabricate, we are back up and running. So, appreciate that, Chad. Uh, we got a lot done in, in the time it was down. We, you know, weren't sitting around on our laurels. Uh, we use the lathe a lot, so I've got uh, quite a few little handles ready for crochet hooks, knitting, uh, or knitting needles. I keep wanting to say knitting hooks. That ain't how that works. Got a little toppers for uh, hairpins turned. Got a couple of little wand handles ready to go. So what we're going to be doing today is just getting back out to the forge and uh, trying to get some stuff done here. I've got... Uh, a large woodsman knife that needs to have the bevels knocked into it. Uh, I've got another Celtic ring knife that needs to get forged. That should not have happened. Whoops. <laughs> but uh, I wanted to show you all a neat little thing. So I uh, plan around on YouTube, of course, while I'm waiting on my forge to come back up. I learned how to make a whistle on the lathe. <laughs> So that was fun. So <laughs> anyways, uh, yeah, not super important, but it's a little fun item and now I can make them. So that's pretty cool. So uh, what we're going to do today is just a lot of little stuff. I'm, I'm going to try and get the, get the bevels knocked in on the, on the uh, woodsman ring knife. Try to start working on that, the next uh, Celtic ring knife, but uh, a lot of little stuff. Uh, the good thing about uh, the little stuff is you don't have to start with big stock. A little piece of metal like this, as thick as it is. Uh, now, I'm not great at judging, but I'm going to say three, maybe four hairpins should be able to come out of this. Something like that, because it'll get thinned down. You wouldn't want all of that in your hair. That, that'd be way too big. So, uh, yeah, a little mushroom top one, eh? that'll be fun. So yeah, we're going to do a lot of little stuff today and, uh, you know, get, get caught up to where we're at. Thank you. 
right guys so we had to cut it a bit short today uh, i'm gonna keep working on friday but I, I wanted to get this video out on thursday keep the routine up uh up and down to uh the new forge burner uh it works in fact it works so much better than the other one it is i mean i don't have a way of measuring it but if i had to guess three four hundred degrees hotter than it had been previously it is really really hot uh the downside to that is it is also incredibly hot out today and whoo that was kicking my butt i am i am just it, well you can see my shirt is now dark gray uh it was light gray when we got started i am just soaked in sweat i don't have enough water out here for this but I, I did get four uh, little hairpins forged out, and I just got the tops glued on. I'm going to handle them kind of careful. Oops. See? That's why I got to handle them careful, so knock them over. So there's a little simple one. You got one that's a little more decorative. I went ahead and did the mushroom top one. That one's going to be pretty. And then a little ball top one. Oops. And uh, when they dry, they'll just... Uh, you know, once the glue sets, uh, I'll run those, uh, <clears throat> pardon me, uh, may stain one or two of those, uh, the really light colored ones, we'll see, uh, definitely some beeswax on them, and then, uh, those will get ready to go out to the festivals, so I've got more of that to go, uh, I said, we're just really working on stuff, I was not ready for that heat, uh, <laughs> being down a week man loosened you up i guess but uh anyways we're gonna keep right on going but that's gonna be it for this week so four little hairpins but you know it, it, it's good we're, we're we're moving along i've got uh, the uh the woodsman's ring knife it's ready for heat treat i'll probably do that right before lunch just to get it knocked out and then uh yeah, we're going to keep making festival stuff. Guys, um, I went to a, a festival this weekend, uh, or this past weekend, uh, in Gold Hill. I met some really wonderful people. Shout out to all those. Uh, I, I can't even begin to name all of y'all. Uh, really great people. Really helpful. You know, nobody minded me asking questions about how to go about, you know, the doing the craft fair thing. So it, it was really cool. Oh, like I said, really, really great group of people. Hope to see them at the next one. Hope to see you guys there. Y'all take care. And we're back. Um, quick addendum. So I went out to the forge. I was going to heat treat that knife real quick. And uh, as is almost always the case, no matter how tired I am, I don't have the ability to just sit still and wait on the forge to heat up so uh now we have five hairpins <laughs> that's not a lot but they are completely done all of them uh the glue is set they've been waxed and uh yeah you can see the uh these two here i used a really light very uh coat of the mahogany wax I just wanted to bring out some of the natural color in it. And of course, with the cedar, I just used the beeswax. And same with the, uh... you know, I don't know what this is. Uh, uh, it, it is a kind of redwood. Uh, it turns very dark brown in time. I thought it was Paduk or Padauk or however that's pronounced. But having seen that with another guy's work, I don't think that's what it is. So, again, I'm just in the dark. I, I don't know what it is. Uh, if anybody's good at just knowing what wood is, that's that's what it looks like. I, I genuinely have no idea what it is, other than it's very pretty. I, I like it. Uh, that's its natural color. That's nothing but beeswax on there. Uh, when we first got it, it had a lot of red to it, but... Uh, just aging over a year it turned very dark brown and uh yeah i don't know what it is but anyways uh so that's what it is these ones are done 
and uh, <laughs> now it's time for lunch. Uh, thank y'all again for watching. I know I done told y'all to take care, but seriously, y'all take care.